So you want to make a million dollars a year, you've got to break it down into bite-sized chunks that, that you can understand how it builds up to that million dollars a year. So the simplest financial model you can make is back of the napkin maths. For example, I'm going to sell art. I'm going to sell 50 pieces of art per year for $50,000 each equals $2.5 million a year. Now this is a nice guess, but to do this properly, I have to go, can I actually sell art for $50,000 a piece? And can I actually sell 50 per year? We have to break these assumptions down into steps to see if our maths make sense. So we're gonna start with the basic building blocks of our assumptions. Understanding what your product is, how much you're gonna sell it for, and then also coming up with some assumptions about how much of it you're going to sell, how much you're reasonably going to sell. So first you've got to figure out what you're selling. Once you know what you're selling, you've got to figure out how much of it you can sell over a particular time period. If you're selling muffins, maybe think about how many muffins you can sell in a day. Once you know those things, you can figure out how much you charge. Now, you might need to charge $3, $4 or $5 a muffin, but once you know how much of a product you're selling and you know how much you can charge, when you multiply those things together, you get the revenue for that time period. So if you've got more than one revenue stream, you effectively just follow the same formula that we set for one revenue stream. Think about what it is you're selling, how much you can charge for it, how frequently you can sell it, and you just go through the few revenue streams that you've got. A word of caution is that sometimes you can overcomplicate things by having too many revenue streams, and people looking at a business model uh, can find it very confused uh, if you're, you think you're going to have a dozen different revenue streams. Basic rule is keep it simple, figure out what your most compelling business opportunities are to generate revenue and stick with those few things. So we've broken down our assumptions into how much we can sell something for, how many times we'll sell it per week or month, and total all that up into a yearly revenue total. I can build a model that shows a really profitable business, but if I'm assuming I'm selling muffins for $20 a muffin, probably going to be pretty hard to do on an ongoing basis. So really val validating the assumptions that go into your model is critical. You want to make sure that what you're projecting is reasonable and achievable. The best way is to go and validate those assumptions in the market. So you can do some desktop research about what muffins are selling for in the area. You can walk around to local muffin shops and check out what muffins are selling for in the area. You can talk to other people who run similar businesses to understand why they charge what they charge. You need to be able to defend your assumptions if you're taking your business model to an external investor. An external investor is not going to invest in your business if the, the fundamental assumptions that are driving the economics of the business aren't robust. So Amanda's example is about product, selling a physical thing. In a service business, you sell your time. Let's say I'm a, a graphic designer uh, working freelance. I'd spend half my time actually working for clients and the other half like selling to clients, uh, doing marketing, doing my accounting and all the other stuff to run my business. So I might only bill my clients half the time. Let's say that's 20 hours per week. The important assumptions would be billable hours per week and price per billable hour. So if I'm billing $100 per billable hour for 20 hours of the week, I'm billing for 20 billable hours or $2,000 a week. There are interesting products that people sell that might be hard to figure out what reasonable assumptions are for. If the product is maybe a new product, you've discovered uh, you know, some incredible software that's going to do brilliant things that no one's ever thought of before. It works to go and validate your business idea with potential customers. Talk to them about what they're currently doing to address the problem they've got uh, and how much they're paying for that. So really understanding the nature of the problem that you're solving uh, and how problematic that issue really is for your customer will help you get a sense of how much you can charge. So we've taken our hopes and dreams and turned them into something we can actually achieve 
through chunking out our assumptions so that they make more sense. And importantly, we haven't done an exhaustive list. We've just done the half dozen or so most important moving parts for our revenue. Projecting revenues aren't that complicated. So your revenue is critical because it's the cash coming into the business that helps you pay all the costs of running the business. 